Um, in this video, we are making keychain option of the small gingerbread man, and this is the one without the clothes. Um, if I make, sorry, to be more visible, if I make it uh, the gingerbread to be dressed afterwards, I'm doing it uh, without any decorations on the body, and if I uh, plan to make um, this one, the plain one, the simple one, uh, without the clothes, I would add some recrack uh, stripes, either cut out from felt or the easier variation with uh, purchased smallest that I find recrack ribbon. The recrack ribbon that I have is this one. I purchased it from one US Etsy shop. It's one eight inch recrack. Okay. Now I have a smaller, shorter pieces of this ribbon and I will glue it on the front to get this. First step, here on the middle part where the ribbon goes over the felt. Wait a um, few minutes for this to to be strong and to the glue to take a place. <clears throat> um, this is a craft glue, mm, nothing special. It's that white glue that uh, when it dries, it gets transparent. Is this is really? Um, very ordinary glue, nothing special, not, no strong variation. Let's see how we are doing. Okay. I will now turn around and um, I will add a glue on the half and uh, turn first part and wait for a few minutes and then repeat it on the the next half. Um, this is too long, so I will cut off. Okay. Now the other part. Um, you don't necessarily need to glue. You can also sew the ribbon on. And this is how it looks when it's sewn. Choose similar color of the thread as the ribbon and make stitches, the running or back stitches all over. And this way you will get 
the ribbon on the gingerbread man. Okay, this is uh, the difference between the bigger and the smallest. Um, both templates are in the PDF file. Keychain. I need this kind of rings. This is um, about one inch or a bit smaller. And we have few variation. <clears throat> to do this, I need either this. This is, uh, I think it's macrame, for macrame, two millimeter, one tenth of an inch or, or less width, or um, we could use a two millimeter um, cotton cord. This is the cotton cord, or uh, the gross grain ribbon if it's very thin i um i use two two pieces and this is slightly glued together okay i will do all the sewing with uh, the moulin floss this is the the one that uh, has six strands that um, can be separated and i'm using two or three strands usually um, i work with two strands when i create an ornament and when i create the keychain i use three strands to make it a bit stronger because this this will um, go around in the pockets in the back and i need uh, stitches to be more more strong not to be for the kitchen to last at least for two years okay now first thing i will take a ring okay now i will go with these loose parts through the loop and voila I have it on a ring now I will take my scrap felt my scrap of felt and I will sew this ribbon this cord not ribbon on the Uh, 
prepared to be <coughs> put inside and sewn together like this. Okay. The next option is my two ribbons. For this, I'm putting the um, the ring by separating it. This is a great way to um, damage your fingernails. Okay, have it. And where's my hat? One more scrap. Okay, here it is. Okay, and now we will sew this on this scrap. I'm starting here in this notch and <clears throat> I'll go around. This keychain, uh, for this keychain, I took um, the same color thread as the material. And uh, for this one, I will use the white thread. <clears throat> 